Diving right in, we have the prompt reversal technique for ChatGPT, and here's what it does. You know that back and forth we all have with AI? After that initial prompt, we get a first result that's maybe 50% of what we want, so we ask for some changes. The second result gets us to 60%, and this goes on and on, until we finally land on something that's about 90% of what we wanted, right? What if we could skip all that back and forth and just jump straight to the near-perfect result every single time? That's what prompt reversal does. Think of it like cooking without a recipe. You add some salt, taste it, add some pepper, and keep tweaking until the dish is perfect, right? Prompt reversal is like having a robot scan that final dish and producing the exact recipe we needed from the start so that next time we nail it in one shot. Let's go through a real world example so you see exactly how this works. I start off by asking ChatGPT to analyze our main competitor, Anthropic, and walk me through their business strategy. I receive a comprehensive overview of Anthropic's entire business, but this is way too dense. I'm not sure what I should focus on. So I course correct and I say, hey, this is too dense. Restructure this into the SWOT analysis format, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I want three bullet points per section and use clear and simple words. And I get a targeted SWOT analysis, but now <laughs> this is too concise. The bullet points need more detail. So I refine again. Hey, uh, this is now too concise. Flesh out each bullet point and add a subheading under each section called our strategic response and suggest one concrete action that we can take. Finally, I get exactly what I want. Strengths, three supporting bullet points, recommended action. Weaknesses, three supporting bullet points, recommended action. Same thing for opportunities and same thing for threats. Perfect. Now, here's where the magic happens. Instead of accepting this result and moving on, I add one final prompt. Reverse engineer our conversation and write the single prompt that would have produced my final response in one go. And look at this, ChatGPT outputs the reverse engineered prompt in a code block for easy copy pasting. And we can test this out. I'm just gonna copy this code, open up a new chat, paste it in, click enter. And I'm just gonna fast forward this part here. And as you can see, we got that perfect detailed analysis in one step. That's pretty fucking awesome. Not only does this technique save us so much time and effort over the long run, but it also captures all those little details we refine along the way. And it helps us become better prompt writers because we can actually see how optimized prompts are structured. Pro tip, people often ask me which prompts I save to my prompts database in Notion. And honestly, most of these prompts come from the prompt reversal technique because those are the best prompts I use repeatedly. Speaking of writing better prompts, today's sponsor, HubSpot, has an awesome resource I'm pretty impressed with. It's their free ebook for professionals, Supercharge Your Workday with ChatGPT. Longtime viewers know I made an entire video on Google Gemini's Guide for Professionals. And while that was a good start, the HubSpot ebook goes way deeper deeper into actionable strategies for specific corporate roles. In fact, their section on prompt databases inspired a popular tip for my corporate workshops, which is to assign one single gatekeeper per team to add, refine, and remove templates from a shared prompts database. I'll leave a link to the free ebook in the description and thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, moving on to hack number two, a technique I call the five minute amplifier. Diving right into a real world example, when I was a marketing manager at Google, I had to rely on the product and sales teams to provide content for my campaigns. I'd be like, hey, you're gonna send me those slides tomorrow, right? And they'd be like, oh yeah, for sure, promise. A week later, I'd be like, yo, where are the slides? And they'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was busy pitching clients and generating shareholder value. Something you marketing folks won't understand. And I'd be like, oh, go fuck yourself. Just kidding, I love the sales team. Anyways, with ChatGPT, as long as I can get my hands on their main slide deck, I can amplify that content all by myself. For example, I can ask the AI to create an engaging 10 question quiz based on their slides with multiple choice options and the correct answer indicated. Boom, now we can test the audience's knowledge and keep them engaged. 
Next, I'd have ChatGPT draft an internal recap email for stakeholders who couldn't attend the event, summarizing the key takeaways and product updates. Then I might ask the AI to create an external client-facing infographic that pulls out the most impactful stats from those original slides. And now I have a follow-up asset to share with clients. And this works across any department or role, right? The sales team can turn an industry report from marketing into cold emails for client outreach, a LinkedIn post to generate leads, and a list of talking points for their next call. HR can turn a one-hour webinar transcript into a quick reference guide with step-by-step -step instructions, an FAQ for the company intranet, and a knowledge check quiz for attendees. The benefits should be pretty obvious by now. We basically save hours of manual reformatting and rewriting by using AI to repurpose one high effort piece of content we already have access to. Pro tip, be selective about your source material and only amplify what I call pillar content, your high quality proven work like a successful presentation or a data rich report because the AI will magnify the quality of what you give it. Garbage in, garbage out, right? If you find my AI videos helpful, by the way, I'm actually developing an entire course on evergreen skills and universal principles to master any AI platform, giving you a future-proof framework that never becomes obsolete. If you're interested in learning a practical and timeless AI system, click the link below to join the waitlist. All right, moving on to strategy number three, the red team technique. This is a simple two-step method. First, you ask the AI to create something from your perspective. Then, and here's the important part, you immediately ask it to flip the script and adopt a critical and opposing persona. Let's go through some examples. First up, job applications. You first ask ChatGPT to tailor your resume for a job description. Instead of stopping there, you then flip the script by following up with, now act as the hiring manager for this role. You're extremely busy and only have 60 seconds to scan the resume you just helped me write. What are your immediate red flags? Example two, after asking AI to draft a business proposal for your CFO, you red team that proposal with, you are now the company's chief financial officer, CFO, and your primary goal is to cut unnecessary costs. Read the proposal you just generated and critique it. What's the biggest financial risk? Why isn't the ROI justified? Example three, after asking ChatGPT to refine a cold outreach email, you tell the AI, you are now that VP of marketing I'm targeting. You get 50 cold emails like this every day, read the email you just wrote and tell me your immediate unfiltered reaction. Which specific sentences make you hit the delete button and why? As you can see by now, the red team technique helps us anticipate challenges, giving us the opportunity to strengthen our message before it reaches a real world audience. Pro tip, be extremely specific with the persona you ask the AI to adopt. Don't just say act as a critic. Give it a detailed role with clear motivations, like you are a risk averse CTO whose main concern is data security. The more specific the persona, the more insightful the feedback. Pro tip number two, turn the AI's critique into an actionable to-do list. Use another follow-up prompt like, Based on the weaknesses you just identified, help me rewrite the three weakest sentences in the original email. This closes the loop and helps you instantly improve your work based on the feedback. All right, our fourth hack is a technique I call blueprint scaffolding. In a nutshell, this forces the AI to explain its step-by-step -step reasoning before it delivers the final output. It's like finalizing the blueprint of a house before actually building the house. Diving right into an example, I start off with a basic prompt like, I offer an online course called the Workspace Academy. I need a marketing campaign brief for the Q4 holiday promotion. And the result is extremely generic here uh, and includes a lot of information I don't really need. For example, like tracking, UTM's measurement, operations and roles, risks and mitigation, right? I don't need to see any of this right now. With blueprint scaffolding, the improved prompt looks something like this. I offer an online course called the Workspace Academy, blah, 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 this is all the same. And then first outline the standard sections of a professional brief and give me a one sentence description for each section. By seeing this blueprint first, I immediately realize, okay, it's giving me way too much information. I don't need 18 bullet points or sections, right? So I can course correct immediately. There's too much irrelevant information. Apply the 80-20 rule and give me only the essential sections for an email marketing campaign with a three email sequence. All right, and this tightened up version is way better. So I just end with, okay, let's just remove seven to eight because those again are not that important and then proceed with fleshing out the entire brief. 
right? And this final output is way more targeted and relevant than the generic res response we received earlier. The rule of thumb here is for complex tasks that require multiple steps, nuance, or a specific structure, always ask ChatGPT to first break down its thought process, review and make changes as needed, then execute. It's like reviewing an architect's blueprint before they start building, right? By spotting an incorrect measurement before they pour the concrete, we're saved from having to tear down the whole thing later. And if you watch my video on the GPT-5 update, asking ChatGPT to articulate its steps forces the invisible router to select a more powerful reasoning path, which leads to a more accurate and well-structured final output. Pro tip, we can take this technique a step further by defining success metrics up front. For example, I need a social media campaign brief. First, outline the steps, and for each step, define the success metric. For instance, for our competitor analysis, the metric is a report with three actionable takeaways. This builds clarity and accountability into the output from the very beginning. If you enjoyed these tips, you should definitely check out my top five ChatGPT use cases for professionals. See you on the next video. In the meantime, have a great one.